Let's turn under the raging war between the U.S. government and the Mexican drug cartels. That war landed in a Chicago courtroom today. The son of El Chapo Guzman pleaded not guilty to charges that he took over his father's violent drug empire, pouring narcotics into communities across the U.S., including Chicago. Jorge de Santiago with our sister station Telemundo Chicago was in court today. Hey there, the agreement for Ovidio Guzman extradition to the United States is that the U.S. government will not seek the death penalty, something that according to the judge could have been applied to him based on charges. Ovidio Guzman Lopez, 33-year-old, also known as El Raton, arrived cuffed and wearing an orange jumpsuit. He received the assistance of a translator. He's been kept in isolation because he just got here, um, so he's actually doing pretty well. Guzman was informed about the charges he faces for alleged leadership of the Sinaloa cartel and his alleged involvement in one of the largest and most violent fentanyl trafficking operations in the world. He is also accused of alleged trafficking of cocaine, heroin, methamphetamines and marijuana, as well as money laundering. The lawyer representing Ovidio Guzman is the same one who represented his father, El Chapo. He's got other cases, um, you know, but so did his father, and, and the way we handle these cases is one at a time. Okay. Um, right now there's a case in Chicago, and that's the only one that's active. The hearing took less than 15 minutes. Ovidio waived his rights to have his charges read to him. In court, El Chapo's son said he suffers from depression and anxiety. Furthermore, he indicated that he had surgery about a year ago, so he will have to take medication for life. Facing the rest of his life in prison. So if that doesn't give somebody anxiety and depression, I don't know what would. Former DEA agent spoke to Telemundo Chicago about the importance of this arrest. You're going to profit off of human misery. You're not safe anywhere. Um, if you're going to bring uh, death and, um, and horror, uh, to so many families. not This isn't just an American issue. This is an international issue. By the way, according to Guzman's lawyer, he does not plan to cooperate with the U.S. government on the cases they have against his brothers. He is expected to be back in court on November 17th. Jorge Santiago, NBC5 News. Now thanks to Jorge.